Damian Bocci and welcome to my back room here in sunny Tampa Bay, Florida. Today I'm going to be teaching you the intro and the first solo to Bob Wills and his Texas Playboy song, Fat Boy Rag, that featured guitarist Junior Bernard. Now as the story goes, Fat Boy Rag simply began out of a jam session. But whatever the case may be, Fat Boy Rag may be Junior's greatest moment on record. And sometimes it's really hard to believe that a man was playing guitar like that just one year after World War II ended. Now Junior was known for having that raunchy, deliberate, distorted tone. His playing was daring and aggressive, and his hard-hitting, fast runs were very advanced for his time. He would use techniques and sounds that would eventually be associated with guitar players of the rock and roll era. If you're into western swing guitar, Junior's someone you want to study. Even if you're into rockabilly or jump blues, Junior's playing has something for you. Because Junior's one of those rock and roll pioneers. Without him, popular guitar music would not be what it is today. Now sadly, Junior Bernard passed away at the age of just 30 years old in 1951. He was in Riverdale, California scouting for other places to play and was involved in a very bad automobile accident. Now he had survived the crash, but just five hours later he passed away in a local hospital. Now as strange as this sounds, just eight years earlier in 1943, Junior had been behind the wheel in a hit and run auto accident that had left the woman killed. And it's thought that the Wills family was able to get him out of the incident unscathed. And it kind of makes you wonder, did karma catch up to Junior? Well that I don't know. But I do know that he left us with some amazing guitar work to listen to and to study. And with that being said, let's talk a little bit about Fat Boy Rag. This instrumental is a blues tune in the key of G. And Junior's using the major and minor pentatonic scales to play this solo. Now at the end of the lesson, I've supplied a backing track for you for practice. And the backing track, friends, consists of just three chords, G7, C7 and D7. And if you like, you can substitute the G7 with the G6. Now on this lesson, I'm playing my Guild X175 Manhattan and the P90s that came with the guitar have been replaced with P90s by Lindy Fralin. And today I'm playing through my Fender Hot Rod DeVille with a smudge of reverb and I'm plugged into just one pedal. I had my Nocturne Junior Barnyard turned on for this performance. The pedal helps me achieve an octal tube response. It's great for recreating the color, character, and edge of Junior Bernard's sound. Now if you enjoy this lesson today, please give it a nice big thumbs up. It really does help me out. I put a lot of hours in and hard work into these lessons. And those likes let me know that you're enjoying the videos that I'm creating. And also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. This will keep you notified whenever I upload a new guitar lesson. And if you'd like to learn some things that aren't on my YouTube channel, I've got some great full-length courses on rockabilly guitar and on jump blues guitar. They're available at my website at DamianBocci.com. You can purchase these courses as downloads or as DVDs. These full-length courses, friends, will not disappoint. Well, all right, so let's learn the intro and the first solo to Fat Boy Rag right about now. <laughs> let's do it. Okay, let me show you the intro. It starts off with some triple stops and a bunch of double stops. Now here's the lick at a normal tempo. All right, now let me play it for you slowly. And now when the song kicks in, we start playing these double stops. Let's do them together slowly. Okay, and now the solo really starts to kick in. Now I'm going to break this part up into little bite-sized pieces for you. Let me show you the first passage here. And what we're doing is playing over the one chord in a 12-bar blues progression over G. 
and Junior's simply playing notes from the major and minor pentatonic scale in G. Now let me show you that slowly and starts with these cool rakes. And then we move on to this part. And what we've done here is move to the four chord in the progression and Junior's playing notes from the C major and minor pentatonic scale. Now here's those licks played slowly. Alright, and now we move back to the one chord and Junior plays this. Okay, we can play it for you slowly. Alright, and when we move to the five chord, Junior plays this. And what he's doing is playing notes from the D major and minor pentatonic scale. Now let me play it for you slowly. And it starts sliding into the upper major third. I just love his licks. He's all about creating that tension there and quickly resolving it. And now to finish the solo up, we're playing back over the one chord and Junior plays this. Now let's play that slowly. Well friends, that's all the time that we have for today in this lesson. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. I've been wanting to do this lesson for years and now it's finally up. You know, you hear a lot of times on YouTube people saying, oh, I'm so excited to present this to you and stuff. But I hope you can honestly see the real excitement and passion that I had to create this lesson. And really in any of the lessons that I create, anything that's old school guitar related, whether it's rockabilly, jazz, jump blues, or western swing. It's music that I love listening to and love playing and I'm dedicated to creating lessons and these styles for everyone's enjoyment. And I'd like to thank you all for watching these videos because by creating these lessons, I get so much fulfillment and joy out of doing them. And I just want to thank you. Now friends, I'd just like to remind you, if you like this lesson today, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to learn some things that aren't on my YouTube channel, I'd encourage you to check out my full-length courses that are available at my website on Rockabilly Guitar and on Jump Blues Guitar. And now, friends, before I go, I'd like to leave you with this inspiring quote. Abigail and I, can you see her? Where is she? We hiked up here with Charlie's Bunyan. We're not there yet, but I wanted to stop and show you this amazing view. We're in the Smoky Mountains National Park right now. And I just wanted to leave you with these words. In the end, you won't remember the time that you spent in the office or the time you spent mowing your lawn. So climb that gosh darn mountain. And those are some wise words from Jack Kerouac. All right, so we're gonna continue this hike. So uh, we'll see you soon. Much love to everybody out there. Stay safe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye, everyone.